Hello friends this video is the second part of series research methodology. How to write the research paper. If you like the video please do share it and subscribe the channel. Literature review. A literature review is a critical analysis of existing research related to a specific topic. This leads to clarity on, state of knowledge, as well as, gap slash s in the knowledge. Review of existing literature is a one of the essential preliminary task when undertaking research work. Review of literature can be time consuming as well as frustrating at times. However, review of literature is rewarding for following reasons. It is the platform on which argument, in turn the research problem, is built. Research is justified and it is demonstrated how research improves the chosen discipline. Justification of research. Literature review leads to justification of research. Helps showing that there are gaps in knowledge in field that merit a closer investigation. Demonstrate that proposed research work will fill this gap by adding knowledge in and understanding of field. Demonstrate that proposed work hasn't been previously done. Ensures intellectual contribution is indeed original. Demonstrates that theories or methodologies in the field have been critiqued. Helps justify the arguments related to the proposed research problem. Purpose of Literature Review Good versus Bad Literature Review Critique is a systematic way of reviewing, critically, the literature, published research paper, to highlight both strengths and weaknesses. To be critical means to question the information and opinions presented in the research paper. To evaluate or judge overall worth of the research and its findings presented in the paper. To critique does not mean to criticize in an exclusively negative manner. Importance of critique with respect to literature review. Writing a critical literature review is not about finding fault with the work of other scholars. Critical literature review or critique involves accurate reporting of the central findings and arguments of other scholars in the chosen discipline. Leads to assessment about the extent to which existing research addresses the research problem. A not-so-critical literature review leads to failure in reporting of the key findings in the chosen discipline. The process of literature review involves Searching for literature Reviewing the literature Searching for literature To set parameters for the search need to have some idea of Broad subject area Problem to be investigated Source for literature include Journals and periodicals, information is updated Books and reports while in detail, information might not be updated. Internet, while easy and fast, authenticity of information needs to be verified. 2. Reviewing the literature. Read the literature thoroughly and critically to determine whether theories put forward, their basis, the methodologies adopted have been confirmed beyond doubt. Findings can be generalized to other situations. There are significant differences of opinion among researchers and critique about the validity of these differences. Any gaps that exist in the body of knowledge I.E. determine the areas in which very little or nothing is known. Review of literature provides answer to Stated aim, objective slash purpose of research Central findings of research Implication drawn from the findings Contribution of research domain knowledge Which aspect of proposed research, or problem, are spoken about? Comparison of research findings with other perspectives slash findings Broad areas of agreement and disagreement Further research required to contribute to filling the gaps in research knowledge Steps in literature review Step 1, summarize the argument the method slash s, the methodology slash s, the finding, and their implications. For e.g. The study concludes slash shows that the key finding of the research is the authors propose slash argue that 
the key finding that, has implications for. The implications of the main finding is. This suggests slash implies that. Step 2, summarize the summaries. Write few sentences that tell the reader what researchers in the field have found or argued on the broad focus area of research. For e.g. Numerous studies, see for example, reference, 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 have shown that. Key finding. It is now well accepted that. Key finding, reference, reference, reference. The conclusion that. Key findings, has led to an approach in which. Implications. Step 2. For e.g. The increasing interest in, has heightened the need for. Of particular interest is. Recently, there has been growing interest in the field of, in. The development of, has led, to the hope that. Step 2. For e.g has become a favorite topic of analysis in the field slash s of the study of has become an important aspect of a central issue in field of scholarship is the question of has been extensively studied in recent years many recent studies have focused on step 3 mention that gap exists and proposed focus has received less attention has not been investigated from a particular perspective, or remains contested or uncertain in some way. For e.g. While the focus of, existing research work slash s, has been widely examined, less attention has been given to. Proposed research area. It is now clear that, overall findings or arguments of the field in relation to the problem area or focus, but questions about proposed research area, remain. Step 4, summarize the main point of theme papers or books on the precise area of proposed research. For e.g. Of those studies which have looked directly at, the focus has been on. The study by. Showed that. The methodology adopted in these studies led to more consideration given to, than to. Step 5. Write the aim of the proposed research. For e.g. This research will. The aim of this study is to. Assessment of literature review. Have you clearly signaled the discipline your research or practice is situated within? Is your literature review comprised mainly of a review of scholarly texts published in academic journals and books in your discipline? Have you mainly reported the main finding or central argument of books and journal articles, or central themes for reporting artifacts? Have you cited, appropriately, where you have borrowed an idea, finding or argument? Have you used the appropriate research language? Have you explained how your research or practice will contribute to literature in your discipline area? Paradox you cannot undertake an effective literature review unless you have formulated a research problem, yet your literature search plays an extremely important role in helping you to formulate your research problem. Thank you for watching the video if you like it please do share it and subscribe the channel.